It's my book, and there's a note from my publisher. We are returning all of the unsold copies of Faster Than the Speed of Love. You guys got a garage or something? We got like 300 boxes of these things. <laughs> Keeps getting stomped on. Well, that's it. No more. I, I'm, I'm done writing. What? Writing's the only thing that's giving your alcoholism any credibility. Ooh, hey, you know, I just thought of something. Hold on a sec. Look, you know, this is what they want. The secret. Chicken soup for the soul. The purpose-driven life. I, I tell you, I could crap one of those things out in a night. I'm gonna tell Mom you said crap. No, I mean it. I could do it in three hours, an idiot's alone with my thoughts. Wait, I've got it. Predator versus Batman. Why has no one done this? I need a pen. Where's a pen? Oh, right. I can't move. That's okay. I'll remember it. I mean, I can't forget a million-dollar idea like that. See and done. There it is, Stewie. Three hours, 27 minutes, and I got myself one big steaming pile of book. You want to hear it? Oh, definitely. What are you calling it? Wish it, want it, do it. Yeah, I don't know if you want to start digging around in this area. Let's just leave it at he's a friend in publishing and he calls on Thursdays. There's a yellow shirt underneath. I, I, I don't really have time to do this right now. Brian, they're publishing your book! You're kidding. I, I can't believe it. That's the worst thing I've ever written. Not according to Penguin Publishing. In fact, you're supposed to call... It's a special breakfast for me, too, right? Why? Because, because it is the anniversary of when I started to eat vegetables. Arthur, Arthur! <laughs> and Peter! Book reviewer. So, hats off to both of us. Well, nice going, Stewie. You ought to be my publicist. You know, I, I don't want you to be offering me this just because we're related. I, I do have references you can call. You know, I, I, I spent... All right, are you okay? You good? You, you need anything? All right. All right, we're inside and there is nobody here to greet us. We have no idea where we are or where we're supposed to go. Oh, wait, is that you on the phone over there? Is, is this? This is us. It's to find us a room with a white sofa, a white table, white hydrangeas, and Fiji water! Geez, Stewie, there's no need to... Ooh, I said no gray M&Ms. These are all gray. Don't worry, Brian. I... We're here with Brian Griffin, local author of the new bestseller, Wish It, Want It, Do It. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Uh, yeah. Now, now, what does that mean? Wish it, want it, do it. It's not really a narrative. Doesn't matter. I'm hooked. And we'll be right back with sports. Okay, you're doing great so far. Now, I was just texting with New York. We're doing a whole thing there. I booked your play magazine at Pastis. I just want to warn you, she's very heavy, so be prepared for that. Jeez, how heavy? I don't know, but apparently heavy enough that they felt they needed to warn me. Oh, look at this. Your book is number three on Amazon. Number three? Worth oh, my God, you're amazing. I've been so thrilled with how you're doing. Uh, oh, great. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, uh, checking in, Brian Griffin. You you should usually do that. That You should check me in. I don't know. God, how, how weird would it be if she just showed up at my room later? I, pretty weird, I guess. Oh my god, were you were you thinking of doing that? Uh, sending her to my room? No. It, it's Jan. Back of the line, go on. Come back around, he'll try it again. Hi, can you make it out to Kelly? Well, hi there. I sure can. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you, wish it... Yeah. I see. Yeah. I'm a little creeped out. Hey, congratulations. Somebody famous now hates you. Okay, so that's enough autographs, I think. Listen up. God, you know, Stewie, I, I, I used to think that John Lennon was kind of a jerk for saying the Beatles were bigger than Jesus. But now, I mean, gosh, what's under here? Hey, what do you call yourself? Oh, wisdom. Oh, profundity. Oh, truth. Hey, let's, let's all just go hang out together between the covers of a book here. But is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. Can you figure out what the problem is? I, I don't... I, I honestly have no... Oh, God. How do you think I feel walking out of the back room of a restaurant? You better. And you being honest with me? Well, that's helping me do that. So thank you. Good. Oh, Brian, are you going straight back to the hotel? your book signing. Jeez, Lois, could I have like five minutes to decompress, please? It was a really horrible flight, and I was sitting next to a Japanese guy who had a cold. Bill Maher, woo! Okay, so the topic is going to be, should God play a role in politics? Okay, Mr. Griffin, we'll be ready in five minutes. You'll be on the panel with Ariana Huffington and Dana Gould. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. My, my publicist told me Christopher Hitchens would be on the panel. No, we told him Dana and Ari... question that sometimes gets ignored is, what about the separation of church and state? Well, Bill, see, I think... I, I, actually, Dana, if I may, if I may, I have some insight on this. Uh, Bill, do you mind? Go, dog. <laughs> Tells me Americans will get all Christy about any sort of stupid <laughs> So what? I think what's actually alarming is the fact that all these kind of... Your lives. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't read it. <laughs> oh, God, hey, oh, so you're the guy. <laughs> it's, it's, actually, it's actually very popular. 
Well, it may be. Uh, it, it, I mean, it seems that these sort of books tend to pander to the laziest kind of self-help within the next. And that's another thing I have to say. Aren't wish it and want it really the same thing? I mean, your book <laughs> basically makes three points. <laughs> how, how does this help you get a car? Well, I mean, it doesn't with that attitude. I mean, you, you have <laughs> you, you have to do. <clears throat> you know, what, what the hell's your problem, Zsa, Zsa What is your problem, Snoopy? Dana, which, which is a girl's name, and I'm... <laughs>you are. Oh, don't be such a pig, Mr. Pig. Oh, now where's Mr. Sheep? Is he being bashful? Fella, come get the food. I have always wanted to do this. Oh, here are the marsupials. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Look at me, Lois, I'm rude. How's it going? Great. Beautiful day. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> you know, we, we sit here and force small talk while they have the time of their lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It went down my throat. <laughs> Full house. Dag nab, that's some poker face you've got, Peter. Years of practice, boys. Peter, you're on a roll. Now, crunch it! You're working through Christmas! But, sir, what of Tiny Tim? Bah! He and his ukulele shall go wanting. <laughs> huh, the New Yorker. In French, when you want to say yes, you say oui, oui. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, my God! That is hysterical! <laughs> Oh, man. Fix it. I fixed it already. No, you didn't. It's still dripping. No way. I will give you all my Star Wars guys if it is. Wait, wait, wait. Except Boba Fett. No matter how sure I am, I never risk the Fett man. It's about. It's perfectly normal. No, I, I know. It's it's just, you know, I, I should be able to control my baser instincts. But I, lately, I've just been having these urges. Brian, why didn't you come up to my parents' house with us? Well, have a good time. All right, I'm just going to relax, mellow out, and watch some television. We now return to World's Sluttiest Dogs on Fox. Daddy. Bonjour, Monsieur Peter Schmidt. Did Peter have a stroke? No, Daddy. Peter's cultured himself, like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Oh, so I should treat him like a high-class whore. In shorts. <whistles> Ow. What? Oh, you don't have an eye spliced in this moron line. Here, I'll just tie a bowl in an air and make one for you. That shit holder. It seems like everybody's having a lot of fun. So how long are you and your family in town? Uh, 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 no conversation. You idiot! I'm never taking you to my country club again! Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Pewdishman. Your husband goes all the way around. Uh, oh, no! Head hunters. Ah, am I fired? Daddy, Peter's been trying really hard to get you to like him. Couldn't you give him another chance? Let him to, Daddy. That sounds dynamite. Brian, come over here and meet Seabreeze, my prize-winning dog. Isn't she a perfect... That's okay. Gentlemen, this is Peter. He's the idiot my daughter married. Michael Eisner. Bill Gates! Uh, Bill, Peter's an antitrust lawyer with the Justice Department. Sexual. Thank you, Ted. That was the joke. I see your bet, Carter, and I raised you CNN. Oh, I don't think I can... Wait, wait, wait. You can beat him, Mr. Pewterschmidt. Any of us have ever beaten Ted. Yeah, how'd you know he was bluffing? Well, when he lies, he blinks twice. I first noticed it when he did that Barbara Walters interview and he said he'd be with Jane Fonda forever. Well, I'm gonna turn in. <laughs> Man, looking up at the sky just makes you feel so small. Yeah, I mean, if... Wow. You know, Peter, I actually had a good time with you tonight. And I just want to say... Well, I'm glad you married my daughter. Dad, where are the jockeys? They're all in the laundry, son. I'm going Indian today. Oh, yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Peter Schmidt, again, I just want to tell you how sorry I am about this. I don't know what came over me. You'd better not have ruined... Look, Mr. Peter Schmidt, I, I just want you to know I am going to do the right thing here. You're not doing anything. In fact, you're never going to see Seabreeze again. All of you, pack your things and get out. I am never speaking to you again. Don't worry, Mr. Peter Schmidt. See, see, look, I made a picture of you and me out of glue and macaroni.
Wow, Peter, that means a lot to me, because you made it. Really? No, oh, get out of here! Mr. Kutterschmidt, Seabreeze is gone. What? I can't... Don't mind the Epsteins, they keep to themselves. We're going to see Bobby Darren at the Copa tomorrow, right, Charlie? Bobby Darren tomorrow. And this is the bathroom, but watch out, we got some bad road... Never! That's all right, honey, I don't think he was the one anyway. Now let's go get Sundays. You know, we all really miss you, and Peter talks about you all the time. Oh, really? Anything nice? No. Man, the people look like ants from up here. They are ants, Michael. They are ants. This is Trisha Takanawa reporting live. Where... Now I'm going back inside to have freaky sex with my prostitute, with whom I still have 45 minutes. Now back to this breaking news. Him that's getting to me. It's your father. I'm sorry. I talked to him, but he wouldn't budge. He can be so stubborn. I don't know how my mother puts up with it. He did promise to take good care of the puppies, though. I had no idea you could be so cruel. I'll never forgive you for this. Oh, you'll be fine. You're just having your period. This court will now come to order. Brian, do you like children? I, I love children. That's why I'm... Let's tune this out, don't you? Wah! We'll tune this out! Wah!